Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. We saw this Kirby Smart defense come out Saturday afternoon and kind of put on a performance against Clemson that kind of reminded me of this Georgia defense in 2021. Now, we did an instant reaction to this performance, and from the first watch, I wasn't necessarily ready to say this reminded me of the 2021 defense. Watched this game a couple of different times, and I think I'm ready to make that comparison. You look at this Georgia defense in 2023, it felt like obviously a very good defense, but maybe lacked those you know, top-end difference makers in the 2023 season, specifically coming off the edge along the lines of scrimmage. I, I watch back that game from Saturday and say it, it kind of reminds me of what we saw in 2021 and where you want to start, I think, is you know, physically, this Georgia defense looks like they're playing a JV football team. That's kind of what it reminded us when we were watching this Georgia team in 2021, just big, fast, strong. There's not many offenses and personnel on the offensive side of the football that could deal with what Georgia was bringing to the table. And you look at this Clemson team, I, I was pretty vocal that I thought this Clemson offensive line was going to be pretty damn good. I still think it's going to be pretty damn good. They just didn't look good against Georgia. And I think that says a lot more about this Georgia defense than it does about the Clemson offense. You take a look at the numbers. I mean, it was stifling. It, again, that's what the word we would use when we talked about this Georgia team in 2021. 188 total yards. They ran the football for two yards per carry, 4.9 yards per pass attempt. I think the big difference that we're seeing from 2023 to 2024 is you have some of these young guys like Jalen Walker and Raylan Wilson and CJ Allen. They were all good last year. I think they're ready to be dominant in 2024. And I think that's kind of the main difference between this Georgia team. Want to take a look at, you know, a couple of different things that stood out to me about this Georgia defense fired up to get into it. Now, before we do, and as always to the Georgia fans, we, uh, a lot of you guys were lighting it up in the comments section Saturday afternoon. It was a blast talking ball with you guys. Can't thank y'all enough for the support. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Much more importantly, would love to hear kind of your takes on the comparison to the 2021 defense. And I get it. I didn't want to make the comparison immediately because I have a ton of respect in terms of what we saw from that Georgia defense in 2021. But I'm sure many of you guys have rewatched the football game. We'd love to hear how you guys are feeling in the comments section as well. And without further ado, let's get into what we saw. And I want to start, and I just want to dive in real quick to what we saw from Jalen Walker. And the Georgia fans who've been rocking with the boys the last couple of months during the offseason, we probably said Jalen Walker's name 250 times. As this guy that you go back into the 2023 film and say, this kid's going to be a difference maker, but you could tell he didn't have the consistency that. Kirby Smart and Glenn Schumann wanted. And that's something that's important to that Georgia defense. If you can't stop the run, be physical at the point of attack, you're not going to play for this Georgia defense. And I think that's why you didn't see that much of Jalen Walker in 2023. Jalen Walker put it together from a physicality standpoint in 2024, at least from the first game that we saw against Clemson. And if you get a Jalen Walker who can play more snaps because he's not a liability against the run, I think he's the best pass rusher on this Georgia team. And you saw him not only get after the passer, which we all know he could do going back to the 2023 season where he led this Georgia team in pass rush win rate in quarterback hurries with not really playing a ton of football. But I think more importantly, what you saw from the run game in Jalen Walker, that's kind of what stood out to me the most. You take a look at these two reps here, second and one. This is late in the third quarter. This is when Georgia – it really started to kind of pour it on and you could just tell Clemson didn't have any answers. Jalen Walker at the bottom of your screen right here. One, we know he's lightning fast. Uh, again, the level of juice that Jalen Walker has is kind of different playing the read option, screaming down the line of scrimmage and making a play. We're not, we're not surprised to see Jalen Walker do that, but on this third and one, this is where we're surprised where Clemson is going to run right at Jalen Walker here. What does Jalen Walker do here? One, he takes on the block extremely well against, again, Tristan, I think a really good left tackle. Physical at the point of attack. He's able to get off the block and then scream down and make a play. That's the Jalen Walker that we did not get in 2023. And if we get this kind of Jalen Walker in 2024, I think he's one of the better defenders and really all of the SEC. Because again, you go back to 2023, elite pass rusher, lack the ability to be 
a weapon in the run game. And because of that, Glenn Schumann and Kirby Smart, I don't think wanted to play him as much. When was Jalen Walker ever on a uh, on the field on a third and one in 2023? Almost never. I mean, he was on the field consistently for Georgia, and you're going to get the all 22 here. Really, really impressive by Jalen Walker. Again, physical at the point of attack, keeping that outside shoulder free, disengaging, probably getting held, but still making the play in K. Klubnik. That is that's special stuff from Jalen Walker. And again, it's special because we didn't see this from Jalen Walker in 2023. If we get that from Jalen Walker in 2024 and he's able to play a little bit more football, this is the X factor that I think Georgia might have been missing in the 2023 season. Now, going back to what we saw and kind of some overarching takes, you look at Clemson, 188 total yards. Going back into the film, they had probably 30% of their total production in terms of yards coming from two plays that Antonio Williams kind of running that that post corner route. A phenomenal catch. Dalen never played it perfectly. You just kind of have to clap your hands. Good throw by K. Clubnick. Great catch by Antonio Williams. And then Jake Bringensul making that freaky one handed catch. Outside of those two plays, that if an offense can come out and execute that, you're kind of okay with giving up the yards. And nothing really worked for this Clemson offense. A couple of the things that I noticed one, Raylan Wilson has put it together between the years. Raylan Wilson last year flashed in a big way. And we kind of said in the offseason, I think Raylan Wilson might have a higher ceiling than CJ Allen, which is is kind of crazy to say because I think CJ Allen's going to be an all American linebacker. You might be looking at two all American linebackers in the same linebacker room for the next two years. Raylan Wilson did a phenomenal the kid is so rangy. And you can tell Georgia they just recruit speed, especially at the linebacker position, because Kirby Smart knows you know where offenses are going. Offenses want to get the football to the perimeter. They want to get out in space. You need linebackers that can operate going sideline to sideline. Raylan Wilson, we knew, had the physical juice. I thought he really put it together from a a between-the-ear standpoint. And he was moving fast but in the right direction consistently on Saturday against Clemson. So I think Raylan Wilson was a really big takeaway. Malachi Starks, who, again, I'm a Michigan fan, and and I love Will Johnson – if you were to ask me who's the best player on defense in the country, uh, people kind of put Will Johnson in that alone category. I don't think that's right. I would throw Malachi Starks into that mix. He showed why he's such a difference maker for Georgia on Saturday afternoon where he came up and played the nickel, that star position, and played it exceptionally well, a position that he's rarely played during his time at Georgia. I mean, we all see that pick that he had when he was working against Tyler Brown in the slot, we kind of said if Clemson was going to have success, they were probably going to be attacking with these slot wide receivers and Jake Bringenstool. And moving Malachi Starks into that star position where he's kind of responsible for taking away some of those guys, he absolutely did it on Saturday. And quite frankly, I think he should just continue to play the star one because it's such an impactful position within this Georgia defense. I mean, you are tasked with doing so many different things that, I mean, not just within the Georgia defense, but that star position really in college football is becoming an extremely important position. And if you have your best football player on your team, have the ability to play that star position, at least in my opinion, Malachi Starks should be playing that spot a lot because you can tell his impact is probably much greater at the star position than it is at safety. Is he a better safety than a star? He's really damn good at both. He's probably going to play safety at the next level. That being said, if you have the opportunity to play your best player at the star position, especially with the emergence of KJ Bolden, who looks like he's going to be just fine at the safety position for Georgia, that might make a little bit of sense. I think the other shout out I want to give is to Nazir Stackhouse and Christian Miller, where I was a little bit concerned about the the thin interior defensive line for Georgia, which is something I'm not necessarily used to saying, but and Jordan Hall was out. Xavier McLeod was out. Warren Brinson, I don't, he was clearly banged up. Obviously was in and out of the football game. Nazir Stackhouse and Christian Miller had to play a lot of football. They played very well, probably as much as they've ever played in their Georgia career in one football game. They, I thought they were, they were very, very good. And so I kind of, where we'll end this, at least in my opinion, is you look at this Georgia defense and you're making the comparison to 2021, the same things we talked about for Georgia in 2021, 
I think might apply to this Georgia defense in 2024. And that is where do you attack this team? You know, you're so stout along the lines of scrimmage. I think your pass rush is going to be significantly better with Jalen Walker on the field more, Damon Wilson as well. And then your linebackers, if you want to try, I mean, it's going to be really hard for teams to run right at Georgia. We saw that against Clemson. They tried to get it to the boundary. When you have linebackers that are some of the fastest players on the football field, really hard to work the perimeter. And these linebackers, probably the best linebacker unit you see in the country. And then I think our big question mark was in the back end playing some young cats. They look just fine. I look at this Georgia team and say, I don't see where offenses can really get after this Georgia defense. And that's kind of the same thing we talked about when we were talking about that great defense in 2021. If you're a Georgia fan, you kind of knew the offense was going to be really damn good, right? Really good offensive line, arguably the best quarterback in the country. Nate Frazier at running back seems to be a spot. And we heard all of fall camp, this gets different, certainly look different. And that's not even with your true running back one in Trevor Etienne. I look at this Georgia defense and say, it's really hard. I mean, I I picked him to win a national championship in the preseason. I'm sitting here looking at that prediction and saying, I, I feel pretty damn good about it. This is a complete Georgia team. They had a complete performance against, again, I think a very good Clemson team. I think they're going to be an ACC champion. They're going to be in the ACC championship game, I should say. And Georgia kind of treated them like they were the JV team. That's kind of the the performance we saw from Georgia in 2020, 2021's defense. I think we might have the same thing here in 2024. Again, a lot of season to go. You want to see them stack these kind of performances. Really, really impressed. Wanted to hop on, kind of share some of my thoughts after rewatching a couple times. We'll close it out there. Again, appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate y'all, and we'll talk to you guys later.